Hi you guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for your love and support. This is going to be a quick little mini reading to check what's going on with the masculine and the feminine. You know, a conversation basically between the, the two of them. Um, everything that you need to know will be listed below the video description. I'm using um, the one candle. Uh, most of the items you see will be in my Etsy shop or there will be a link to it, including these decks I'm using. I'm using all of my decks. Uh, if you live in the United States, you can uh, only get my decks from my Etsy shop or my site. If you're international, please send me an email. I will send you a link to order. All right. So if you hear me say he or she when I talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies. Masculine or feminine could be male or female. Just take it how it resonates or applies. And um, the energies can be flipped. So when I say I'm talking about you, I can be talking about your person. Only you're going to know. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this reading. All right. So this is my uh, situations deck. This is the energy, the masculine is in towards the feminine at this time. We have desire, lust, sexual chemistry. Sorry. It don't want to operate right now for some reason. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. This is the uh, steampunk tarot. And what is this energy, the masculine is in towards the feminine? What is this lust, sexual chemistry? Two of Cups. So he's seeing the feminine as his true love, soulmate energy. We have that yin yang uh, energy. So this could be a twin flame connection, or seeing the masculine be, could be seeing the feminine as his twin flame. Um, this is uh, my his situation stack. It's the sequel to the situation stack. And let's get a message to go along with that. I feel bad how I left things um, between us after all that we have shared. So this masculine has a strong desire towards the feminine, feels bad for the way they left things. So things must have ended very badly between the two of you because the masculine does know that the feminine is his soulmate or true love or twin flame. Okay, so let's see where's the feminine's energy towards the masculine project it so we have future days weeks months there could be something coming up or the feminine could be looking into the future when it comes to this masculine maybe making a decision so what is this future this days weeks months the feminine is in towards the masculine five of swords okay so i feel like she's uh focused on this energy taking a look at it Five of Swords is this mind games and deception. So she may feel like this masculine is, is still is still projected for this masculine to stay in this energy to be in a, uh, a energy of deception or playing mind games or this win or lose uh, type of energy that the masculine has uh, been in for this particular feminine. Okay, so let's get a message to go along with that. This is my her situations deck messages from the divine feminine. The other one was messages from the divine masculine. All right, so let's get a message to go along with this uh, energy that the feminine is feeling towards the masculine. I feel like I'm cursed. Yeah, so the feminine doesn't have a positive outlook when it comes to this masculine. She feels like the relationship is cursed. It's always some type of game, some type of trial and tribulation when it comes to this masculine. So I sense and she's just, you know, frustrated with that energy. She kind of knows where the masculine is at. And so she may be focused on what's up ahead, you know, what's, you know, you know, in her future because she feels like this masculine may not be changed or she feels like she's cursed. Okay. That's what I'm getting. So let's get some conversations between the masculine and the feminine. Okay, let's do that one more time. Oh, just so you guys know, there will not be an extended to this one because this is a bonus. The minis are bonuses. Okay, so um, I miss holding you and touching your skin. That could be where that desire and that less sexual chemistry I can't figure out why you trigger me so much. So this masculine does know that he is triggered by this feminine, but he doesn't know why I need you in my life. So it's like he has this desire to be with you, okay, but also feeling uh, triggered by you at the same time. So um, I'm going to get what those energies are about here with the situation, what it has to do with. Um, I miss holding you and touching your skin. So we have lockbox. 
uh, closed in, trapped, frustrated. So I feel like this masculine feels this this desire to be with you. He feels frustrated. He feels trapped, like he can't get out. Um, this is an energy of wanting to get out but feeling closed in, you know, needing help, some type of assistance to get out of there but you're not able to, okay? Like being on the freeway and you're trying to get around the other cars and you just can't because you're you're closed in, you're locked in, you're trapped and you're frustrated. This masculine could also be in another relationship or in a mental prison, okay? Um, going through his own things. So I can't figure out why you trigger me so much. What does this have to do with? Cleansing. Meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. So this is something this masculine would like to clear up, would like to cleanse. This triggers, okay? He could be lighting sage. He could be meditating. Um, he could just be trying to figure out how he could cleanse out this trigger, you know, between um, the two of you guys, okay? The negativity between the two of you guys. Because the masculine does feel bad how they left things between you, so they might want to they might want to fix that. So I need you in my life with this energy here. What is this? Divine Masculine. Yeah, so this is him coming through saying that I need you in my life. I like to figure out something to cleanse this negativity between the two of you guys. I have a strong desire. I'm triggered by you. And I'm not really sure exactly why, but I know I'm feeling something. Okay, that's what I'm getting with the Masculine right now. So let's go ahead and see where the feminine uh, energy is at. The messages, conversations between the feminine and the masculine. I'm just going to move that over a little bit. Okay. I never could have imagined things would end the way it did, not us. So this is a confirmation that things ended badly between the masculine and the feminine. And the feminine was more surprised than anything by the way the masculine handled the situation. My love for you is unconditional. I love you even uh, when we are apart. So a confirmation too that this connection, um, this is a, a connection where they're in separation. And then I wish you could see you through my eyes. Then you would know there is nothing to fear. So she knows this masculine is dealing with a lot of fears. And that this masculine might have a lot of trouble loving himself. And she's just wishing that he could see things from like a different perspective. So let me see what this I can never imagine. Things would have ended the way it did not us. Trash. Discard it. Throwing out. Like this masculine would just throw her out. Discard her and treat her like there was nothing going on. It was nothing um, significant okay and the feminine feels really bothered by that and that's why she's feeling like she's cursed okay so my love for you is unconditional even when we are apart so we have a grip anchor chains weighed down so she do feel uh, a heavy chain to this energy okay even though you guys um, may be apart she may also know that this masculine is being weighed down by something else too could be his own problem his triggers or actual relationship so it says, I wish you, um, I wish you could see you um, through my eyes. Then you would know uh, there's nothing to fear. It's this energy. Interview. Like, so that we could talk, have a conversation, get on the same page. If we were able to do this, we would probably be able to get on the same page. We could have a conversation. So the feminine does realize where this masculine is at. The masculine is realizing something about the feminine. But he's still in close in a negative type of energy. But the feminine does not have a lot of optimistic energy towards this particular masculine. Even if she may be optimistic about her future, she's not seeing that with the masculine. Okay? All right, you guys. So I hope that resonated for you. If it did, definitely let me know by giving it a like and subscribing if you're new. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, where we are. Until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.